Hey, I just have Joel here for the record button. But anyway, it is Monday night. We are so excited. Well, I'm excited. I think you guys will be excited too to have on our special guest. But a little bit about me. I am Stephanie Dunn, um, Black Diamond Double Ambassador. Been around for 11 years, so I've done this a little bit longer than some of you on. Some of you may maybe longer. I did invite a good friend on that's been in a little bit longer than me, but. Um, just know we've been through all different phases of this business and what I love is I'm constantly learning and growing and we're going to share some things that I have had success with over the month and then which isn't the TikTok and the reels but I want to incorporate that to even accelerate it even more and that's what these girls are going to share a little bit today with Kim and Ashley coming on but I'll let them introduce kind of a little bit about their story and where they're come but I want you to stay on all the way through the end because what I love when I was putting this together, first off, I'm excited because I'll, we all have dark hair. Usually I feel like it's a blonde, like bombshells all the time. So I was like, yay, we have some dark hair beauties. This is good. But what you don't know is I am 46 years old. I have a 22 year old daughter. Yeah, she's my child. She's an adult and my husband, Joel. And so you're going to see different ages. You so, so I have an adult child. So very different with working my business. It gives me a little bit more free time. Um, we have Ashley who has a little one who's two, three. I can't remember somewhere in there, but little. What? How old is she, Ashley? Uh, she'll be two in January. Two. She just looks old. I mean, I feel yeah. like she's growing up really <laughs> fast. Uh, so busy mom life, you know, fairly newlywed too. And then we have Kim who's getting married and no kids. And so I love that really it can be for anyone. It's not, there's no excuses. We can just incorporate this into your life any place that you are. So whether you have kids, maybe you're brand new out of high school and you're just joining, um, or maybe you're older. I don't want to really say I'm older. I'm just maybe a little wiser um, and been around the block a little bit longer, but it's open for anybody that's really wanting to learn how to utilize social media and grow a business and why not talk about product that we love, um, get amazing results and, and make some extra money doing that. So really when you just keep it simple, um, things come, but you got to make a choice. And I think that's the thing is where do you want to grow this business? Uh, how do you want to do it? How are you going to put it into your life? And there's so many different tools that we have access to that we wanted to really just kind of highlight some of the things with social media. So I'll bring on Kim first, and then I'll bring in Ashley. Actually, we're going to start with Ashley first. I'll do Ashley first. We'll kind of go up the ranks, and then we'll go to Kim. So um, Ashley, you're, I think you're going to unmute yourself. Why don't you go ahead and unmute yourself? Give, give us a little bit of your story of your age, um, how long you've been in the business and your rank, and um, then we'll start the questions. Okay, yay, I'm super, super excited. I was telling Stephanie, I was like, we all look like we're related. Me, Kim, and Stephanie, we could just all be related. So when you said, um, funny thing is, you guys don't know that I'm 46. I was, I thought you were going to say, funny thing you guys don't know is that we're all related because we all look alike. <laughs> um, but my name is Ashley Pluger. I have been in this business for five years. I've been working it. Um, whenever I joined, I was 19. I just dropped out of college. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, and the only job I ever had was working at a sandwich shop. And I always tell people that I was like so unqualified to even like think about this business or be successful with it. Um, I honestly, like I said, I had no idea what I was doing, but I knew that I wanted to be successful. I knew that that, um, God put that passion and drive within me and I didn't know how I was going to do that. Never did I think it works or network marketing was ever going to be my thing. Um, but obviously God had bigger plans for me and fast forward to now, um, 25, my daughter, like I just said, is almost two. I'm married to my high school sweetheart. We've been dating for 11 years when I were married. <laughs> um, and we were able to, you know, just buy a house and just all the incredible things um, that we've been able to do. But I always tell people the most important thing is just the person I've been able to become just, you know, more confident, happy, a genuine person, you know, this business had, has maybe not only, um, you know, care about myself and my future, but other people's as well. So um, now that we just went presidential, well, not just, I was just saying that there is not really just went presidential because it's been a few months. So I can't really like hold on to that much longer. Um, in May, we went presidential. And so I already know in 2021, like, Ambassador is just right there and we just have such an incredible team. I'm just so, so excited and so grateful for everything God has done for our team um, and just so, so excited for what's in store. So that's just a little bit about me. 
Yay. You guys, first off, I just appreciate these girls for coming on and sharing. Like, that's something that we really do have awesome leadership and their hearts just willing to share. And um, just ask, because you'll be surprised that, oh, yeah, they, people want to come on and, and share. So I appreciate that. I was actually talking to Lori Conway and said, and she's like, oh, I just had Ashley on my Zoom last night. So thank you for just sharing, because I know a lot of us say, oh, we're busy, but to be able to give and learn from you guys is just so incredible. So I'm just excited. But I asked you, what, what I love is I follow both of these girls. So if you haven't, you should probably follow them because success leaves clues. And so that's something that I know that we'll learn from this is just copy the right, the right things because if it's not broke, don't fix it. So we're gonna just do what they're doing and there's plenty of fish in the sea. So Ashley, I just wanted to know you're consistent. You are first off, always positive, always smiling, having fun, radiate, like join my life, right? And so that's something that I would definitely take note of is what do you want to put out there? We get to choose which pictures, how we talk about things and what we choose to put on our social media and um, even in life, how we treat people. So that's something that I notice a lot about you. And one of the questions that I was asking is, you know, we have TikTok and we have Reels as the most, the the most recent, very similar to TikTok, but I asked her the question is, where do you see the most growth right now? So can you kind of walk us through and how you've really incorporated it kind of a full circle? And I loved how you explained it to me. Yeah. So, um, I was telling Seth, like, I'm obviously still doing host posts and that's where most of my customers are coming from. I feel like my host posts are blowing up right now and they have been for like the past two months. And I'm like, I think it's because a lot of people aren't doing it anymore. And I'm like, well, I'm going to keep doing it. Um, and so obviously host posts is where most of my customers are coming from. Um, Instagram is where a lot of my distributors are coming from. And then, so when you made the graphic and you put TikTok and reels, I'm like, Oh no, I'm not qualified for this at all. Like we need Kim's information on all that because I have not been so Someone who's gone like viral on TikTok or anything like that. But what I will say um, is that it's not like I've made business ones that have gone viral. It's like um, cooking recipes or um, my husband and I did a video just like on like our marriage relationship with God. Um, and so all of those people who see those things, they're going over to my Instagram where there are years of work that I've put into that. So there's people who, I mean, every day I wake up with like 70 follow requests to where the point I'm just going to put it on public. So I don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, but it's people who are coming over from TikTok to Instagram. And so that's, what's really, really cool about it is that, like you said, it's just that full circle. So when you ask what's working, I don't know, these people could be coming from TikTok because they're messaging me on Instagram. I don't really know. Um, but what I think is super important is to just use all of, um, the platforms. So Kim, you would be proud of me before we got on here. I recorded a video and I'm, I uploaded a reels and then I'm going to upload it on TikTok. Um, but my, guys, my reel, it's a, it's a feature on Instagram if you don't know what it is. And I literally already have more views on that in an hour than I do on my entire story. Like my story normally gets like 800 views within 24 hours. Well, I'm already at over 800 views in an hour on reels. And so I made it to where it's public because if you are not doing it, you need to figure it out and you need to do it. So when people are coming to me, it could be TikTok, it could be that they're coming to me from my application or whatever. Um, but the point is that there are a list of people. If you don't have a list of people when a promotion comes around or you don't have a list of people to follow up with, you need to figure out how you're going to do that. And that's where I found myself three months ago. I was a loyal customer signing machine and that's great, but I wasn't, I didn't have a list of potential distributors. And I was like, I need to fix this and I need to figure out what I need to do. And so if you're in that position, it's never too late to hop on TikTok. It's never too late to get that make an application and put that in your bio and start putting that on every opportunity post that you have um, and then also um, getting on reels I know Kim's gonna talk more about that I feel like I'm like I'm like not qualified to talk about it because I don't know everything so I don't want to mess anything up but um, that's just what's working for me literally everything and just doing all of it and like I said um, I have a big, busy schedule but it's just the simplicity of working my business two to three hours a day and then responding to messages posting along the day while I have that time to do that so and I asked her this question, what host to post is working? So she actually shared the, the message. So we're going to post this up in the comments so you guys can copy that. So right now I'm going to go ahead and block out the chat so I can upload it. So hold tight. Yep. So he's, Joel's going to go ahead and put that there. But what I, what I love is exactly that is you just want to get stuff out there to be able to go and scroll through because just like if somebody 
clicks or comments on your your on your post or your likes your picture if they're commenting you're more likely to go look and see what their account is more about so that's what ashley's doing so that's really why we want to utilize this but what i've seen is being consistent with with things but then being willing and open just to try the uncomfortable and yeah, so that's and, oh sorry go ahead um, one thing I was going to say is that like, you need to figure out what your audience is as far as like TikTok. So, um, what I loved is that our video, my husband and I's video, it, it wasn't just like it got a bunch of views and it didn't have likes. Like I was getting thousands of followers from it too. So it was people who like follow God, you know, and that's the kind of people I want in my business. So it was cool how like we were just doing it to do it. And now those type of people are like joining my team right now. So, um, figure out if you're like a spunky person and you are like super blue, show that on your TikTok, And those are the kind of people that will then come to your Instagram and potentially join your team. But I just thought that was cool. That was just like that full circle of, I didn't really mean to post it about that, but now the type of people who are joining my business are, you know, people who have a strong relationship with God. And those are the kind of people I've been asking for to come into my business for five years now. Um, so just like we always say, figure out your pillars and your platform and you know, what your audience does like. And so it was just cool to see how that all came together. Um, with the host post, I think Joel put it in the chat. Okay. So guys, look at that upsell that's on there. So the reason why I do the celery upsell with the Thermofight, um, so I do Thermofight is the product that the host post is about. And then I'm upselling to the uh, celery and fat fighters. The only reason why I do this is because it's not part of the pick two or pick three, and I want to get the most beefy. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. I, I, I'm, I post about the pick two, pick three. I follow up on my customers, but I want to get the highest volume. So um, me and a few of my leaders, we came together and we came up with this upsell, and it works every single time. I've signed 16 customers this month, and I think 13 of them have upsold just because I asked. So that goes from a 31 BV to 80 BV just because you ask them. Mm -hmm. And also it's easy to just duplicate within your team. Say, hey, just send this next message. If you already have their information, they're already like, you're, they're already basically about to sign up. Just send this message and it gives them the confidence. That's what we want. We want big orders. We don't want just 30, 31 BV orders every time you sign a customer. So um, I love that. Yeah, That's and guys, just a reminder on the chat. So there's the little three dot button you can click on it and click the save chat button. So you'll have that script for when you need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that you can do that. So I love that, Ashley, because we do, we want, we want to make sure that we're helping you get the customers, but then it's always the ask. It is no, unless you ask. You can always go back down to that, but if you don't ask, you don't know. So don't assume that they don't have the money. What I, what I find is when people are really ready to lose weight, they want, the program. They're like, give me your best. And I like, honestly, um, a couple of girls were asking me today about, um, you know, the cleanse. We know that it works every time, but I think people think, oh, they need a flush out, you know, like super crazy cleanse. I'm like, if they're really looking for that, they might want the celery because I'm like, please make sure that you are near the bathroom for the first couple of days. Because I know when I, when I first tried, I was like, okay, they weren't kidding. Like you're, you're just going to go. So that mentally, you guys, sometimes people are just like, oh my gosh, it's just working. But we know that the cleanse works whether or not you're, you're feeling like you're going to the bathroom, like, like it's working. So I just, I love that. I was like, okay, we just need to make sure that we do that. So thank you for sharing that because people want to do that. Newbies, if you're new, which mostly we're talking to new, or maybe social media is just uncomfortable for you. Maybe you're just like, I don't even know really where to start. Um, you know, make sure that you go back and you watch some of the, the videos and especially what's corporate's doing. If you're like, what is post to post or you see hacks, it's just getting people to share a post for you and talking about a product. And we have the scripts, corporate has the videos. You can go back and watch all of that. So if you're like, I need to just go, don't be afraid to ask your team and go, is there somewhere in here? And you can usually go to the page that you're on the team page and just search in a search tab, post to post you know, something like that. So if you're brand new and you're really just like, oh my gosh, first off, congratulations for being here because that's a, a big step to just jump right in and be like, ah, I'm not really sure. But the main thing is, is knowing you're willing to learn and to try these things and fumble through it, click on the buttons. You're not going to break things. I think a lot of the hold back is how I'm going to, how am I going to look? I don't look like that person or, 
You know, I don't have a little one to put in the video. You know, we can all make the excuses all day long of what we want or don't want. But if you truly want this business to work, we're going to give you everything. It's up to you what you choose to do with that. So you can become successful and you can be a top recruiter with whatever you set your mind to. Um, and that's where I'll come back at the end of this and share what I'm doing because it's a little bit different and give you the, the script on what I do because I think doing all the things is, is important too that we don't forget on that. I think one of the things that you've said is if you really want this business to work, you'll work the business. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what's so simple. I mean, you listen to that, you're like, oh, duh, that makes sense. But in actuality, it's really that simple. You just have to put in the actual steps. Uh, we told the joke last week of the four frogs sitting on a fence and three of them decided to get off. How many were left on the fence? And the answer is four because nobody actually jumped off the fence. They just decided. So you can decide that this business will work for you, but then are you going to go do the work? Mm -hmm. And we're giving you all of the amazing tips and tricks and tools to use, to implement so that you can go out and be successful faster than when we started. Yeah. So actually there's no really like, I think this is a the thing. There's no super secret, crazy tips that, you know, or tricks, I should say, we're going to give you the tips, but there's nothing like, Oh, this is just magic. And I can't share it with people. It's there's plenty of people out there that I'm friends with that you're not friends with that we're going to just connect with. It's just a matter of figuring out who, who do you want to attract? Are you, you know, a mom that wants little ones. Do you love God? Do you love cats? What are, what are those things that you want to do and, and get those up there? Um, when you're doing your social media, um, I, I would know this, this, that you took a Sabbath or you decided that there's going to be time that you're going to work your business. Has setting that boundary, that schedule, KPIs, whatever you want to call it, been helpful for you on doing your tasks? Yeah, especially as a mom, put a one in the chat. If you're a mom, like you guys know that some days, like it's just, it's not going to go the way that you plan it to. And so sometimes I'm like, I want to wake up before my daughter. I'm going to get all my work done before she wakes up. And then sometimes I sleep in and I can't get my work done and do my list or my KPI. I just have, um, don't kill me because I don't do the KPI. This is just my little thing. I have my little journal. And so like, um, this was last week and this was the week before and I just write it down. And once I get it done, I highlight it. Um, so I think it's just super important having something in front of you the next day when you wake up, because if you wake up and you just, you're like, Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to sit on my phone. It's just not, you're not going to get anything done. And so, um, what's just worked for me, like before I go to bed time, I'm going to write down everything that I have to do tomorrow. Um, that way when I come into my office and what I found is just having a space. So like, don't work from your couch though. If you absolutely need to, you, you can, but it's just creates laziness. In my opinion, if you have a spot, you can go to work, go in your office. If that even means your kitchen table for a long time for me, I had a chair in front of my nightstand and that was my desk in my office space. Okay. So find that type of space where you can work and do intentional work instead of laying on the couch and watching Netflix. If you absolutely have to, and like you're super pregnant or tired or sick or whatever, that's fine. Um, but I think there's just so much that goes behind sitting at your actual workspace. You, you just work more intentionally. Um, what was the question? I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just did the, t has the task looks help? Oh yeah. 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 Um, so I normally get my work done whenever my daughter takes a nap, like I said, so she normally naps for like two hours and I can literally get all my stuff done plus more in that two hours. And so, like I said, it just comes down to having it in front of you. If she were to take a nap, it could be easy for me to not sit at my desk and not see where my list is and not know what to do because it's just not in front of you. So, um, you think sometimes we're working just cause you get up five host to post, but that's not, you're, you're supposed to get up 10, you know, just because you sent 10 message on Instagram, that's not enough. You need to do 50, you know? So just that little bit every time, I'm do more than that. Um, and in the end it will pay off. Um, there was something else that I wanted to say and I can't remember, but hopefully. it'll come back. You can just cut one of us off. It's totally fine. <laughs> cool. It will be important. And the thing that you, you demonstrated that was important that I don't know if a lot of people cut is you have your written down system. You don't use the KPI tracker and that's absolutely okay, guys. You know, we're sitting here talking to you about doing the KPI daily task list that you can print out from your back office. If that doesn't fit your brain, don't feel like you have to do that. Now, Ash has been doing this for a while, so she's already got her system developed. Mm -hmm. The reason why the KPI task list 
is so vital is because if you're just getting started, you don't have Ashley's history to be able to go and go, hey, I've already got my system in place. Mm -hmm. No, we're giving you a system that you can just grab and run with. And then as you're using that, you can also develop all the things that you like along with it. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, we're trying to make it as simple for you to take off as possible. Yeah, so I, I love that making sure that you guys have your tasks, your list. Are you creating your stories the night before do you do it like on a daily, like a daily thing, or do you do it, pick one day of the week and you create stories for throughout the week? Like, are there some that I just recycle and use? Yeah. Like, I don't have time, um, but I want to get them up. Right. Yeah. So I don't have like a routine of when I do my stories. Um, but I will say with opportunity stories, I reuse them probably every three to four weeks, just because I don't have the time to continue to make new ones. And I'm literally getting new followers. I'm following 200 people a day where by the end of the week, I should have at least like 500 new followers. So it does not matter if I'm using the same opportunity post over and over again on my stories. Now, if I did it two days ago, I'm not going to do it today, but there will be probably every two weeks where I sit down and make like new stories, um, in the over app, but it's nothing that takes takes a lot of time or something that I like to spend a lot of time on. Not saying it's bad if you do, um, but don't be afraid to reuse stories. If, you know, as long as you're getting a new audience, there's new people viewing it. So I don't think that it matters if you want to use the same ones. Um, like I said, every like three to four weeks, I'll go back to the same ones that I did. Um, and it's all just in my over app and in my um, like over album that's on my phone. Yeah. So make sure that you guys are, are doing this, you know, you're on the training. So are you going to apply those things. Are you posting about the product that you're using? Do you have your results out there? Are you, you know, putting those throughout the day, some fun things that you're doing? Like, so it's not just always just it works stuff. Although I post a lot of that because it's a lot of my life. I'm training and talking to people all the time and I love that. But also there's other things that are mixed. You guys are our life. You're, you're my kids. You're all my kids. Mal, you may not be my kid. You're my sister, but not my kid. So that's just something that we they we want to do. Um, in since we're talking a little bit more about Instagram, um, you know, one of the things that I think if you know that you're going to be talking about an opportunity or you're going to do a reels, okay, one of the things that I would definitely do is go take a look into your story. Go look to see if you're talking about if you're going to do a reels and it's about opportunity. Is it a description throughout your story of what it is that you do or having a call to action in your story or in that reels, because that will get people more directed to filling out your application, texting you, whatever that action step is. So making sure that you have that. So again, maybe you do a reels and it's just fun, but you purposely create a reels knowing they're going to go look at your profile. And if they look at those first, you know, block of six, or even on Facebook, if they go over there, would they be looking at, are you an It Works distributor? Do they know, are you a social influencer? Would they want to join your business? Or, gal, you're so curious, like, what is it that you do? So being smart. So I would write that down. If you know, okay, I'm going to do a Reels tomorrow at this time, make sure that you kind of prime your Instagram uh, stories, um, and your profile. And I'm not the master at that necessarily, but I'll go to Kim to just ask that question. But I think that that's something that I naturally do is go look and see what do these people do? Cause I want to do whatever they're doing. Right. So that's something that I would, that I would do. So I'm going to come back to you, Ashley. So, so hold, hold tight, but okay. so before we jump to Kim, let's take a very important ideas break. Oh my gosh. You're so funny. I like how you're bringing that in. Here's our amazing income disclosure statement that oh, shows yeah. all of the important things that you need to know about how we make money. Please take the time to read it. Back to your regular scheduled program. Oh my gosh. So now we're going to introduce Kim, who is an ambassador diamond. I want to say just one ambassador, just like Ashley is like, I just went prez, but you guys are kind of been in a few months. So you, you know, you've been there. So you got to go to the whole next level of things. But Kim, I watch you. I actually watch you all, but I've heard your name. I saw, saw this fireball starting to come up. I'm like, man, she's really enrolling a lot of people. Like her name keeps popping up. It's not like five distributors, guys. It's a lot of people. So I'm going to let her explain this. 
but she's been consistent with that too. And that's something that I look for is consistency in this business because you can have a really good month, but I want to make sure that we learn consistency throughout it. And Kim, you're doing that. Like I've seen that. It's exciting. Um, and you really took off with the TikTok and the Reels. So I want to talk, have you talk to us, give us a little bit of how long you've been in, your age, you know, kind of your background, and then I'm going to go into this next question. For sure. I'm just so excited to be here, honestly. And just to share a Zoom with Ashley too, like I, I love that girl so much. And it's so funny because at conference and stuff, people were coming up to both of us being like, Ashley. And I was like, no, it's Kim. And they were going up to her and she, they were like, Kim. And she was like, no, it's Ashley. So it's just funny that we're on this one together. But I am just so honored to be here, you guys. I've been in the business for about five and a half years now. Um, I started when I was in college. I was in my, I was actually just about to graduate college. And um, I, I actually purposely failed one of my math courses so that I could be in college an extra year longer because I was that afraid of going out there and getting a nine to five. Like that's what I had to do. So, um, you know, I, that's when I found this business. It fell in my lap at the perfect time. And I freaking ran with it, man. I really did. I had no passion for one career path or another, you know, so it, it, it couldn't have found me at a better time because I was so confused. I, I knew I was made for more, didn't know what that vehicle would be. And then boom, right in my lap. So um, yeah, I was 22 when I joined and I am now 28 now. And I, um, I'm, I'm engaged to be married. We're paying for this wedding, you know, all because of it works and debt free and been able just to honestly live my best life with being able to go to bed at night, just comfortable, happy, and just excited for the future. You know, the tw my twenties have been so much fun with travel because of this business and, you know, have just met the best people, um, ever, ever. And it grew my faith, um, extremely. So, um, yeah, we went ambassador in, in June. Um, the story is actually pretty crazy. I don't know if you want me to get into that, but you know, I had put ambassador just to wrap it all up in a, in a bow. I, I, um, I wanted to go ambassador so much sooner. Obviously we all want to reach our goal so much sooner than, you know, that typically happens. And honestly, I, it was on my heart to do it in May and our team ran for it all the way until one o'clock in the morning over here in Jersey until the, the clock struck one o'clock and we really thought we had it and it didn't happen. So kind of fell flat on our faces, but the next day just picked right back up and said, well, what are we going to do? Are we going to be failures? Are we going to keep going? And we went and it happened in June and it was just the best feeling ever. So yes, that is my story. And I'm from New Jersey, so I'm super sassy. And I really apologize if like a curse word just might slip out of me. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's we, love, we love Jesus yeah. and curse a little. It's okay. Like there we go. There we go. But I love that, that, you know, we are going to fall short sometimes on our goals, like, but we have to put it out there. Cause if you don't, if you don't put a deadline on it, you're never going to hit it. You're never going to go after what you do. So, um, if you're like, this is what I want, I want Ruby this month and you don't hit it. You just are that much closer to it the following month. So there's just going to be times where you're, I mean, I've always done that. I've not hit all of my goals and things, but doesn't mean that I just quit or I quit on my team. I'm just going to keep going. And that's just the thing is there's stuff out there for us. So, um, and we can always learn from those things. So God is funny. He's really funny on how he does things because he'll put those things out there and you're going to look back and go, that's why he did that. So I could help this person. It just, it will all come around full circle. I've just learned to trust him so much, even in the times of they, they just feel the hardest. Those are the times that I just trust him the most um, because I've just seen things happen so good because of, of those hard times. So I love that story, actually. I think people appreciate that so much as being like truthful and be like, okay, team, like, here we go. Maybe you haven't had the best September. Guess what? We can turn that around right now. So that's what we're going to do because we're here to learn and grow and use the uncomfortable TikTok and reels and I can't think of a better person to share on that who's crushing it with the TikTok than Kim. So Kim really was TikTok or Reels, probably TikTok, I would think, back going that far. What kind of catapulted your business for you? So it was when the pandemic started, you guys. I did it. 
I, I'm going to be completely transparent. I did it as kind of an escape from everything else. You know, I just downloaded the app. I had watched some people post TikToks on their stories over on Instagram where I spent a ton of time already and all of them were so funny. So I just downloaded the app, not meaning to get into it for business purposes. You guys, I just wanted it to honestly, mindlessly scroll. Yes, it's a problem. I know, but it led me to ambassador, you guys, because I opened it up. I was sending, um, you know, my upline and everybody on my team and my friends. I was like, look how funny this is. Look how funny this is. And then one day I came across a video from, oh my gosh, who was it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who was it? I can't remember right now, but it was a, it was a business coach, you know, somebody that does business coaching online and stuff. And he said, this is, this is the platform that if you get in early, your business that you run right now, if you start advertising on here now, you're going to thank mm -hmm. me later. Gary was, it Gary, was it Gary V? Oh my gosh. Yes. It was Gary V. And I watched that video and I was so inspired because I said, look, I love working Instagram so much but I think it's so exhausting to gain followers just by following other people and then having to delete them and stuff. You want authentic followers. And I figured, okay, well, if I just toy around with this TikTok situation, people might start following me because they enjoy me, not because I'm trying to get them to enjoy me. Like they're authentically enjoying whatever I'm putting out there. So I did a silly little dance and I, I was like doing a, Jason Derulo dance. I don't know. It was so silly. And I put some words on it. And this was before compliance and, you know, the FTC crackdown and everything. Um, I, so the video is not still up there. You guys can't see it because it didn't have the IDS on it. And I had to take it down, but it got over a million views and it was a business opportunity post. So it was crazy. And I had maybe 4,000, 5,000, Four to, I would say four to 6,000 applications get filled out just by that. Um, and what that looked like for me was insane because not only were they just filling out applications, they were, um, they were following my Instagram out of curiosity and digging through my Instagram, like Ashley was saying. There were years of opportunity posts and highlights about my story and the success of my team and things like that. So people were just digging through my Instagram. And so that is kind of where it all catapulted for me. And like, obviously now using the IDS accordingly, I've been able to have a couple more videos, get some traction, um, even having the IDS on, I'm not afraid to put it on there anymore. It was just like the timing that was weird with that one video. But um, yeah, I mean, just put one up the other day and it has 60,000 views on it. And people are commenting in the comments, interested, info, 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 just filled out my application, just filled out my application. And then we just kind of, Dan, my fiance helps me out a lot. We organize it, you know, he's the Excel guy and he pulls it up and he's like, okay, this is who's been contacted. This, who ha this is who hasn't been. And we just shoot out those messages and get those connections with everybody. But my favorite part about it all, just like Ashley said, and I'm so happy we agree about that is like, they are, I just use TikTok as a funnel and they all just come over to Instagram where it is, where it is kind of my, um, my comfort space where I enjoy working most. I wouldn't say I enjoy working TikTok most. I think it's honestly a distraction for me um, because I do get stuck on that for you page. I know all of us do. It's so hard not to. So I enjoy working Instagram and that's where I'm using my funnel to take them. So I'm just always making sure that I'm mentioning my Instagram in my TikTok caption so that they shoot right over there and follow me and they can take a look and see whatever they want to see. So that should be a hint, guys. Make sure she said a keyword, funnel over to other platforms. So the idea is to get them over to your Instagram so they can see what you're about. And then that creates even more conversation. And even from there, you can get them to do host to post to Facebook. So for me, I know this might not be for you guys, but host to post is way easier on Facebook than it is for Instagram for me. It's just that switching them over. So if you can get them on all platforms, all the more reach that you can get. So it doesn't hurt to continue to funnel them to each platform for different things. Because I think for loyal customers, I get a lot more traction from Facebook. It's the weirdest thing. So getting them throughout my stories 
interested. I don't care how I really get them interested, but customers are a little bit higher, just depends on Facebook, but it's probably because they've been watching me. And if they want to enter our giveaways, or if you guys are doing giveaways, then you can filter them over to that. So then that's usually where I'll, where I'll be able to get them for a customer. So make sure that if you have it and you're new and you're starting to just really make your page look like you go to some of the top, you know, enrollers, distributors, and just see how is their page designed. And if you have a good post and it works good, you can always reuse that. So you can hide the one. I do that on Facebook a lot, hide it and then redo the same thing. And people just don't know because people are looking at your, at your Facebook, at your Instagram, all different times. They're not looking at you every single day at the exact same time. So I think that that would be a good thing. So Kim, I have no idea how to do a TikTok. I'm going to play completely stupid and not really because TikTok's way out of my comfort zone, but um, how would you train somebody that's just like, you know, I'm barely on Instagram. So now I've got to learn TikTok. I'm so nervous. Like what are some of the, the key functions that I should, I should study? For sure. So um, I think the most important thing with TikTok to know is that so from the outside, it looks like TikTok is a place where like 18 and younger people live and they have crop tops on and they listen to like this ratchet music and they just do weird things. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's what it looks like from the outside. I promise you guys, that's not what it's like on the inside. Um, you know, for just how the internet works and how social media and algorithms work, they are going to cater to what you're liking and, um, and, and what you're watching over and over and over. And so um, I think it's important for you guys to know that it's not what it looks like from the outside. And just you have you have to download the app and see for yourself. Um, you know, I follow so many I'm like a houseplant weirdo and like I love my houseplants so much because we don't have any pets. He won't let me get a dog yet. So we're, I have houseplants, right? So I have so many people on my newsfeed that have like different houseplant care tips. And, um, you know, I would love to be a cook. I'm not really good at it, but and I don't really enjoy it. But like I love watching people do it. I'm fascinated by it. So a lot of cooking things come up in my timeline or my For You page because I'm always liking and commenting on those. So I think that if you guys, you know, like we were talking about earlier, you know, you find your five pillars, you're going to find those on your social media accounts. It's not just Instagram and Facebook, it's on TikTok too. Um, and the creativity is wild there. So what I like to do is I will save TikToks that I want to recreate or put a twist on. Um, I'm not naturally creative. I don't have that in me, you know, I, I... Oh, thank God! No, <laughs> it's like, is anybody else like, yay, I don't have to be creative, I can just copy. <laughs> no, they, this Gen Z does it all for you, I'm telling you, like, they're, they're, the, they're so creative, and I don't know if TikTok just brings it out of them, or what, or if they're just a more creative, like, I don't know, group of people, but I'm not naturally creative, I'm not, and you guys, honestly, I got to Ambassador by copying the right cats and putting my own verbiage and twist on it. And so um, here's your permission. You can do that too. So go to TikTok, find a couple videos that you like, save them um, and recreate them. It's okay. That's what TikTok's for. It's kind of competition to see like who could be, who could use a certain sound in the most creative way. Um, people are not going to get mad at you. Like it's fine. People are just going to, you know, respect that you're even putting your stuff out there. So that's what I like to do. Um, I get some of my TikTok ideas from other leaders that are on TikTok that are also doing really well with it. And we kind of collaborate. And then from there, make sure that you are in a, um, if you want to like grow fast, make sure that you're in a pod. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with those with Instagram, but you know, it's just a group, like a separate group chat where you can comment and like on each other's um, posts as soon as it goes up. The coolest part about TikTok is that there really is no strict algorithm yet. So I'm telling you, okay, maybe Gary V didn't tell you, and I don't know how much you respect me or not, but I'm telling you, you have to start now. You have to before they have an algorithm or before it's gone, before TikTok just disappears, because that's also a thing that's floating around too now. So you, you got to get in, you, you, you have to do it. 
play around with it. It's like anything else that, you know, you started this business because you wanted to try something new. That's not the first thing that you're ever going to try something new with. When you're in this business, you consistently have to kind of adapt with whatever is working. Host to post might not always work for the rest of your life. Is it working now? Absolutely. But you just have to be adaptable and learn new things. But with TikTok, especially, there's no algorithm right now. Well, there, there is one. I shouldn't say that, but it's very loose. Mm -hmm. So it's way easier to get more views than it is on Facebook. So if you are in a pod or a group chat or whatever you want to call it, you know, drop when you do post a video, drop it in there and have a couple of your friends or your teammates um, go immediately like it, comment on it and save it. That's the third one that we just found out on our team. We're like, wow, if you save it, that. I guess is more points for their algorithm where they'll spit your video out to so many more people. So, um, you know, just help each other out with that and make sure that you're all over, over each other's um, posts as a team and it'll get your, your content out to even more people. But okay, don't, so you don't, don't stall. Just, so yeah. pod, yeah, what so, were the things? Yeah, a pod, it's like a group chat. So with, yeah. with Instagram, our team has like an Instagram pod. I don't know why it's called that, but it's it's a group chat on Instagram. And every time we post, we throw our posts in there and everybody in the chat goes and likes and comments on it so that it has interaction and Instagram sees that. Same thing for TikTok. And then make sure that you save it because that gets you the points. So the, that was one. So the pod, the save, and the comment and likes in the pod. Were those the three things that you said? Like comment and then let me just show you on tiktok where oh my gosh how funny is this jocelyn is on my for you page as soon as i open it up as soon She's as I, everywhere oh my gosh this is a perfect example so i would like it comment and then right here there's a arrow and you see you can see how many people have sent that to other people so you click that arrow and you can um do whatever you, i mean i like to just click add to favorites and that will count as like a share. Um, that's so funny. I mean, it makes sense that she would pop up as a <laughs> kind of your little algorithm that you, you, it's a, it works person, right? So she's doing something, but that's, yes, Jocelyn is freaking awesome at it too. I was going to have her too, but I was <laughs> like, nope, I'm having Kim right now. So I'm telling you guys too, I never see any other network marketers on TikTok ever ever like i've never seen anybody from any other company on my for you page so like we're taking like let's do it let's take it over let's let's use the platform while it's hot um i don't know it just excites me because i saw like my followers on instagram go from because of tiktok without like going out and having to follow people every day i watched it organically go from like 7000 to now i'm at almost 13000 in only a couple months and they're every single follower is somebody who is interested in the business. Mm -hmm. So imagine if every single one of your, the people, like the people in your net were potentials instead of just having to do that extra step and having to go find which you should do ask and invite, but having them come to you, man, it's so much more rewarding. Yes. There's a difference between casting a net and casting a single line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I love that with the, with the TikTok. So she gave us some, great tips to do. If you're still like, well, how do I even create a TikTok? I don't even know how to do that. So that was challenging for me to even figure that out and like pause it and then come back to it. I was like, I don't even know where to start. So for somebody that's really technically challenged, um, maybe you have a video like where would you tell them to start would you tell them to upload a video or just start fresh like what do you suggest yeah that's a really good question because with me i was i felt paralyzed when i first downloaded it or tried using it for business purposes i was like i was that one that was like user one five three seven eight seven five like that was me i was like i was i was just like creeping on other people's like cracking my butt off like you know just scrolling before I went to bed, like that was me. Um, and so when I did start to post and came out as Kim Chipak instead of that like person that was undercover, um, I posted an old funny video. Like I didn't even make something new. I posted a 
I think it was like a video of me and Ashley Sinclair jumping in a fountain in the middle of night in Mexico. Like, I think that's what, I really think that that's what it was. I would have to go down and scroll and see what it was. But like, you just post funny videos. All of you guys film your stuff every day. Trust me, your pregnancy announcements. I just saw a beautiful gender reveal, you know, like on my TikTok. It could be anything. It can be anything. Maybe it was something funny that your parents said or did, or like, I don't know, just like a, an excursion that you did. I know Ash, cause I, you know, Ashley and I talk about TikTok all the time and, um, Sinclair and she posted a zip lining when they were in co when you guys were in Costa Rica and that went nuts. So just start there. Um, post anything, post anything that you thought was, you know, that warmed your heart or that was funny at the time and then just see where it goes. Um, and then Kim, let me get this right. What you're saying is you don't have to make a video. You can um, recycle old videos. How many old videos do you guys have that you could recycle? Start there for sure. I just came across the funniest video on TikTok and it was a girl filming her parents and her in-laws parents about like them about her about about her pregnancy announcement and she was having twins and it was her first post but you can tell it was from years ago because she had had the babies already because I creeped on her because that's what people do on TikTok and and um, it had 2 million views. And she only posted once. So if I thought that was amazing and the world thought that that was amazing, what do you have in your camera roll? Like go post what, like that should be your call to action tonight. Just go post it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be on such a high when you see all the views and the likes that you could potentially get. And people follow you like this over there. So, But don't get discouraged if you don't. You keep going. Because we do not know what video is going to hit. It can be random. It could be the time of the day that you post it, that people just happen to start clicking it. And so it goes that way. So I want to encourage you to do that too. Like sometimes we, we think, oh, our first one, and it's going to go viral. Like uh, we want that, right? We want that to have 2 million views. But again, it's don't get discouraged. If it doesn't, you're going to keep trying and you're going to keep getting better. That's the whole idea of this training is to kind of play around with it and just to get used to it. Just like Facebook was weird, you know, and then how they change it. You got to learn new things constantly on Facebook. Same thing with Instagram. TikTok is still going. I could just see you, Steph, like, because you have the cutest outfits. I can't you guys see that those are you guys that are on TikTok talk that do like the transitions where they like jump and she's in like a boss like outfit and then she jumps again and you're like in another awesome outfit or like in another location like I could see that so much oh my gosh all right I will I will do that I will absolutely do that my daughter gave me a really good one it's on folding a blanket she's like oh this is an easy one to do mom you just fold this blanket like how you would like at Victoria's Secret how they make the the Blankets like all perfect and round, and it's like this folded thing. And she's like, I watched it, and there's like millions of views. Just do that. So there's plenty of things out there that you know we. <laughs> Everybody's can be doing. got their strengths. Mine is that is that if that's your strength. Run with it. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, but I think we do overthink and just for forget it. Just the idea is just I want to get it out there because I want I want um two million views. Actually, thousands of influencer applications. applications right that's what we want you guys to have there's that many people out there that do not know about it works that is mind-blowing it should blow your mind that there is this whole sea of people that have no idea about it works because we're in this bubble of Facebook and Instagram that think we've talked to everyone and everyone knows about it when that is not truth it is like wide open wide wide open so that's the exciting part so that is TikToks. I saw some people ask some questions, so I'm gonna go back through it. But here's some people. If you're not comfortable with TikTok, you're gonna to go to Reels. That is where you know I honestly feel a little bit more comfortable with Instagram. Is is the Reels? Um, there was a good question from Nicole on where you put something in your bio. Um, oh, where was it? Just typing in. Okay. Yeah. What was it? Nicole, ask that question again. I saw it pop up. I don't know where it went, but it was a good question. Um, a TikTok, how do you put your link in your bio? Oh, 
I don't have mine in my bio because I want to transfer them over to Instagram. So even like, so I have it in my Instagram bio. So that it, it does create another step, but I'd rather them stay on my Instagram longer and be a loyal follower. Um, mm-hmm. But I think you can, I think you can somehow. I just choose not to for that reason. I think that's a good idea is just getting them over. It's a little bit easier to keep track too, I think, than, than on TikTok. So I would definitely um, utilize that, get them over, have your link in your Instagram. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, make sure that you go and it's the influencer application. So you can go, there's videos on how to create the, the milkshake, you know, um, influencer application. And you can go on a lot of ours. We already have it and see what we have in our bio. So that's where if we put it in the story, click on the application in my bio, it makes it feel like it's more real. Like this is a real job, a real business when we had that influencer application. So I really love that. It's serious people if they're filling that out. If they're taking the time to do that, that's a seriousness that we need to make sure that we're making sure that we're following up with them. But make sure you're following up too and getting that out. So TikTok, I think that's pretty good. The basics of if you have to start, just upload a video. Um, When you're doing this, is there some keywords or hashtags? Like what do you find that works the best for you? Um, I really like in my captions to say, um, mut- or uh, like searching for brand reps or now hiring because you don't have a lot of characters that you can use for your caption on TikTok. It has to be sh- on the shorter side. I think it's like 150, 150 characters or 125 or something. So short and simple, get your message across you know, now hiring always catches people's eyes. Um, I always say must be 18 plus because there are a lot of kids on the app and, you know, just if we could filter them out, that gets rid of that. Um, 18 plus, I always say like must be 18 or older, positive and motivated you know so just throw a couple things out there so that they know that you're taking them seriously as well um one when you're searching for people and then i always 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 put my instagram handle in my caption too that's what i was gonna say make sure that they do that so that they can go over to your instagram so that's such a good idea so reels have you done a whole lot onto reels honestly no but I've seen some leaders just use their TikToks and Mm -hmm. upload them to Reels, and they've had a lot of success with that. Honestly, I think I'm really overwhelmed right now. We have almost 10,000 applications, so I'm just like trying to, and I want to get back to everybody so fast, so I think like once they slow down. I'm sorry, what? (laughs) Yeah, it's crazy. (laughs) Like nobody had this look of what should she just say. So I just wanted to point that out again. Thousand applications, you guys. Well, the cool thing too, and it could be a conversation for another time, but like I have some really awesome leaders that help me and we work together to get through them, you know? So, um, so it's not just a one man show and I would never take that on, you know, this is a total team effort, but Still yeah. sounds amazing. <laughs> But, which is awesome, but um, yeah, so we have a lot, and I think once they start slowing down, I, I will start posting on Reels, just because I want to make sure I'm giving every person I'm talking to, like, awesome attention, and yeah. so. I love it. Uh, and, the, and the thing with Reels, it's really similar to TikTok. They just, they did that, so if TikTok shut down, they would have a platform to capture, and Reels, you guys, is open. So if you go to your Instagram, I see, I see distributors that Alyssa Billy is always in it. Like Jocelyn, like I see certain people popping up in my reels um, because of course, Instagram recognizes who's following me. What am I liking? And so some of those things are scattered throughout and it's not even just, it works. It's just people changing their outfits. Like Kim said, like they're jumping around or there's one with like different shoes that I saw today. And I'm like, okay, I need to, to click on that and recreate that. But I think the idea is um, 
just to even start there. So again, if you just have a video, I even see Pam doing that. Pam's just reposting like a blooper um, video on her reels because it'll pop things up for people to go look at. What is your page about? That's what you want. You want to draw them in and show them how much fun you are, that you get to work from anywhere that you want. They have Maybe you have amazing results, and so that's scattered throughout um, your profile. So what is it that you're about? So making sure that you have, you know, sprinkles of everything uh, through, throughout that and that it's, it's fun and, and good that it would draw you in. If you don't like your Instagram, you can change that. So you can go through and add some different pictures. Uh, don't worry about comments and likes. You just need to have it clean and crisp and like inviting and people are going to check it out. So again, it's just getting the reels the getting the TikToks out there. You mentioned before I forget, kind of going hopping back over to um, TikTok a little bit, is the for you. Some of you may not even know what that is. That was something when I went over to TikTok, I felt so overwhelmed. I'm like, how do you find music? Like, how do I get this music that they're doing and these things? And so can you just kind of break that down for a newbie, like going back to being like, okay, I want to do one. How do I do this? So for you is kind of one of those things that stood out when you said that. So share a little bit about that. Okay, cool. So on TikTok, you have two pages. You and it says it at the top. I think it's it says follower following. On your left hand side, you can click that, and those are videos of all people that you follow. And then on the right side, it says for you, and that's your explore page for Instagram. That's you know. What it, it's just a, it's just a a feed of what they're curating to put in your TikTok. You know, just things that they think that you would like to watch or things that are going viral right now. Like when I mentioned the twins video, I saw a couple people in the chat had also seen it, which is crazy. So that's your goal. You want to get on the for you page. Um, sometimes they put people on the for you page that only have one like, two likes. You know, just to see how they'll do over there. But the goal is to get on there and to stay on there. So if you, uh, oh my gosh, Brielle, you're on my For You page. <laughs> I just opened up TikTok and my presidential's on my For You page. So she's doing great. Um, if, if I wanted to use her sound that she has, um, I just click the, everybody go follow her. She's awesome. Um, I click that and then you just click use the sound and i don't know why it's showing like me in paris but that's pretty cool huh um hey let's go hey are we manifesting something yes okay so oh that's you guys let me turn the camera around and so now you'll see at the top that the sound that i chose to use is up there and then all you have to do is just hit your record um and I, I know a couple of you guys are going to ask because like with the IDS, it's so important that you include it because you don't want to get to a million views and then have to take your video down. I'm still not a little hurt by that, but <laughs> um, you just want to make sure that you leave a little extra time at the end so that you don't record the whole clip. You just leave about a second at the end for you to insert the IDS. Um, so it's really as simple as that. I would just play around on your For You page, scroll, see what sounds you like, follow some other leaders that are doing well in TikTok right now. Um, you know, just get some ideas, see what sounds they're using. And just, I just take a, a notebook and I jot it down and I'm like, oh, she said that, she said this, this is the song she used. And I just recreate it. Um, you know, nobody's going to get mad to do, I mean, you're more than welcome to go to my TikTok and use the same exact stuff that I use. So um, you know, and, and, and create your own story instead of mine, obviously, but you just, yeah, you just pick whatever song you want, record it, and you can start off if you're doing an opportunity one. It's going to feel weird because you, you're, you're going to be like pointing the thing. <laughs> you're like pointing to things that aren't there, but then you fill in the gaps and, and, nobody's going to catch that weird energy because you're pointing at things that they're reading and they're like, Oh, this is what I'm reading. Okay. Right here. And you move it along. So, um, yeah, I'm sure like YouTube, I mean, I had, none of us came out of the womb knowing how it, how to do TikTok. 
we just spent like I just spent a little bit of extra time trying to figure it out um, and you know and 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 eventually did so if you also guys if you want to just create just a brand new TikTok without using somebody else's sound you just go over to the so here's my feed you click the plus button and then at the top here you click sounds and then it can it actually pulls up what's trending right now on TikTok. So use and that's those sounds. Key. And that's key too is trending will get you more views too, right? Yes. So um if you go to or anything relevant, do you guys know that song um uh by Earth One Five? Do you remember the 21st night? So, so today's September 21st. So that was going nuts today because people were dancing to that song and just showing their calendar. Like that's how silly TikTok is. So you just kind of have to be on there and be present and see what other people are doing. And you're like, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty witty. That's clever. I'm going to recreate that um, and just use that sound. But on this page, when you click it, you know, it'll say TikTok viral emerging artists so you kind of you would probably want to go to the TikTok viral and it'll show you um what dances or what songs are doing great right now so that is really just kind of going through guys TikTok in a basic like not anything super in-depth it's just to get it out there to get familiar and to really go okay I want to commit to doing this at least once a day or maybe you're like at least once a week, like to just try to get some things up there. The IDS needs to go up anytime that you're talking about money. If you're just having fun and you're doing something goofy, you don't need the IDS in that video. But if you're talking about joining my business, you know, what this business has done for you, then, you know, if you went out to lunch and it was because of it works, you want to make sure that you have the IDS. So anytime you're talking about money, you just want to blurp that in, the, in there. So you can also take a, just a, a video of the idea so that you can put that in your reels. So I saw a couple of people ask what's reels. Reels, if you go to Instagram, it's another feature that you can have. So you can do story, a post or reels. And so reels is something that you can just upload a video or create kind of the similar like TikTok. Like I video take Joel learning reels and because he was pointing in the air and it looks hilarious when you're seeing the person doing that. But that was him just trying to figure out reels and just getting it out there. So yes, you might feel weird doing that. But if you're looking up like hashtag for you, like those are some of the things that some key ones that Kim shared, um, things that went viral. Those are some of the things that I learned quickly because I was like, oh, there's songs that I like that people aren't really going to go to. And I want this to be for business. So I want to make sure that it gets seen the most. So if it was like today, the, the 21st of September, like I would want to do that song to make sure that people are going to that because that's going to be highlighted today. So that just makes sense. So the more that you do that, the more you can go. One of the best things is we have amazing leaders that share all of these tips, but we also have Google and you can just Google how to do a TikTok. So there's not any excuses on how much you want to learn. So if you're like, this this was exciting for me, I'm ready to really dive in a little bit more, go download the app, go check it out, see what you can do and go, man, I need a, to Google TikTok for dummies and have them break it down so that, that you can see exactly what to click on, how to do the things so that you know, okay, I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna be committed to doing that because I want you guys all to have 10,000 applications that you have to go through. I mean, just think if you had 50, you know, like what would that do for you? So there's, again, so many things out there that we could be doing. And one of the things that I like to do is, um, yes, there's TikTok, there's Instagram, and there's things that people are just going to feel really good at their strengths. And so I don't forget about my strengths. I'm going to learn along the way, but if I'm having success with something, I'm going to do that. So, um, you know, for me, I'm having success with, Instagram and Facebook and just opening the door for conversation. So one of the things that I do is five to 10 people. I just shoot out and just say, Hey, I went through, actually, I'll just read it to you. I'll have Joel post it. Um, let me see. And it's going to sound 
generic and weird, but it creates conversation. So, hey, Stephanie, love your content. And honestly, I think you could easily make a side income from your phone using your Instagram. Have you ever thought of that? So this isn't getting it out to the masses, but it's something that you can do while you're learning reels and while you're doing learning TikTok. So I don't want you to not do other things that are working because that works for me. Um, so I don't want you to feel like, gosh, I just, you know, I have to do TikTok. I want to encourage you because it's an open, you know, like it's throwing a net out there rather than a fishing pole line, right? So that's what we want is we want you guys to use the net, like Joel said earlier. But if you're like, okay, I want to start, I want to make sure that I'm also engaging and getting, getting things out there through Instagram and Facebook. That was Instagram for me. So that just opens the door for conversation because I know that this is the best time to get into this business. So if I can open the door and create a conversation, I'm so passionate about this business and the product that people, if they're not excited to join me, then they, then I don't understand why we're even having this conversation. Cause I'm like, why wouldn't you want to do this? Like everybody wants to make money from their phone right now. Everybody has something that they're sharing about that they love, whether that's a movie, a product, something that a good book, like you are, advertising for other people all the time. So why wouldn't you want to do something for yourself where you're making that extra income? So that's one of the ways that I'm having success. And I happen to be one of the top enrollers and I'm not this master yet at uh, TikTok or Reels, but I'm willing to learn and to, to open that up. But I also wanted to encourage you that there's still plenty of other ways to do the business. It's just a matter of what you want to do and how do you, how do you want to work this? If you want to be successful, you can make whatever you want to be successful. There is no reason that you cannot be successful. It's all in our mind and in our head and what we think. And I just choose like, I, we went to a sunflower field and I didn't even, you know, I just thought about that's a happy flower and I choose to be happy. I choose to live my life. It, like, I am so blessed. Do I have things that are obstacles and things in my way? Absolutely. But am I going to learn from it? Am I going to grow from it? I'm excited to know whatever that is that I'm going to do something with that. And so I know I'm excited. I'm going to go help somebody today, whether that be a customer or distributor. I am so driven that dang it, I'm going to go find, find a way. So whether that's me putting my stories out there, doing a post, or having to ask, I am willing to do the work to get somebody in my business. And I am consistent. I have been for 11 years. I have not stopped doing the things. I'm always adding to and tweaking and learning along the way. So no, you, you want to be consistent with this, okay? So that is something I just want you to find that if it's an hour of consistency, awesome. What is that consistency that you want to, to do to work at it? But You've got to decide. It's not just thinking about it, thinking, oh, I'll start it tomorrow because tomorrow comes. And then you're like, you know what? I'll start it tomorrow. No, I want you to start it tonight. We still have nine, nine days left. Mm -hmm. Nine days. I was like, how many days? Nine days left. Got a couple and, days left to rock this month. And I even said this last week on a Zoom, you guys, I see what you guys can do in three days. If you can make one viral post and get a thousand applications, how many distributors could come in your business because you decided to do it tonight and not wait and just monkey around with it and put up a video and just see what it can do. The worst case is you practiced and you got it out there and that should be a huge win for you in getting it out there. So those are the things that I want to encourage you with is um, we're not perfect at all. None of us are and we all have different gifts and strengths and I love that that we can just get out there and be you. Have fun. Think I am not a dancer. I am not crazy, but I love that Kim saw something that was like, I could see Stephanie like that. That just gave me like, oh, okay. I think I can do that. We are so good at seeing and believing in you before ourselves that sometimes we can go to our friend or maybe the person that enrolled you and, and they can encourage you and go, Hey, this is what I see about you. Try this. Like if you're open to being, being coached, Go try this TikTok or this reel. I think you'd be amazing at that. So those are some of the things I think we just need to just learn to just ask for some help, open up and just try, try the things. But um, Kim, was there any last minute, like, okay, this is something that you must do on TikTok or reels. Well, TikTok. I was actually just typing the chat. I was like, well, 
I hope you I hope you like me because I'm gonna get in your inbox with all these different ones that you're gonna recreate now. <laughs> yes, I am totally for that. I am good. For me, give me for me or for you, whatever. I am I am good. Yeah. I am willing to learn. I'll shoot them over to you and be like, this one reminds me of you. Um, no, I mean I I think just being I like I love that you just said being consistent with it. And you know, if I saw a quote the other day and I'm totally gonna butcher it, but it said something along the lines of you know, when a baby takes its first step and falls, they don't say, ah, this walking thing isn't for me. You know what I mean? And you have to think about that with anything new that you try. And with TikTok and just as business in general, you just need to consist, you have to be consistent and continuously put yourself out there because you don't know which one is just going to hit it. You guys have no idea the feeling <laughs> that I had when we were sitting in quarantine and I will never forget it for as long as I live with my laptop on this shelf right here. And I had made, I remember I'd made several opportunity videos, but I'll never forget Dan working from home and the laptop sitting right here on this counter. And we had the Google docs up and that number of applications was going live. Like it was in live time and it was rolling. Like I won the freaking lottery. You guys, like the applications were coming in. And we're, sit we're sitting there and we're like, oh my, what's happening? This is crazy. <laughs> I'm crying because you feel, because you know what an application or a new distributor does that brings another person into your life that you have the opportunity to change their life. Like, why would you not, you'd be doing yourself and the world a disservice by not staying consistent with, with, with TikTok. Um, if that's what we're talking about, just TikTok, like, you, you're doing the world a disservice because I've had the best conversations and made so many new friends and changed, you know, several lives since I've, I've, I've started that just because I threw up a silly video and I said, this one's not going to do anything. I, it, I didn't, it was nothing special. You know, I, 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 unfortunately it's not on my page anymore, but it was nothing special. Dan was on the phone on a call, like with a client walking behind me back and forth, like pacing. And I'm like, dun, 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 dun. like, it was so silly. And I had no idea what's going to happen. So you have got to just do it. Just, mm -hmm. just do it and stay consistent with it. Because the one right before you quit is going to be the one that, or the one right after you quit is going to be the one that, that does it for you. Um, so uh, the only way to fail at it is if you just stop. Mm -hmm. So don't do it. Just start and don't stop. Start so and stop. Do not quit. Always be willing to learn and to keep going because there's always going to be opportunity. And it's just a matter of if we're going to do it or not. And I want you guys to do it. I want to see you su succeed so much. We all do. And there's so many fish out there that we have the opportunity to just go help. So I know this was a little bit longer than normal, but gosh, I just love you girls. Thank you guys for hopping on. We'll have more of these trainings because this is, this is the way this is, you know, if you're going to get that many applications, why not learn something new to be able to do that? So uh, make sure you guys give some love to Ashley and to Kim um, because we always appreciate learning new things. One of the things is don't just take this and not apply it that's something we want you to do is make sure that you're applying these and learning and growing. That's why I kind of threw out that message that we're doing because at least you're still doing that thing while you're learning the TikTok and the, and the reels. So I want to make sure that you're having the follow-ups as much as you can there as you're going to grow that. So, um, Ashley, did you have any last minute, anything on your heart? Um, I was just going to say if anyone on here just like feels overwhelmed and they're like, I want to do TikTok or I want to do reels and I want to succeed at it, but you still don't understand it. It's not just, you're not going to know everything just from this zoom. So go to YouTube and type in how to, um, work TikTok, how, how to understand Instagram reels. I remember when I first started, I typed in how to be successful with it works. So, um, use, um, Google, YouTube, there's so, and there's even trainings. I know Morgan Martin literally just uploaded one last week. That was like TikTok, um, for dummies. Like it's exactly what to do. So don't go to Stephanie with questions because she doesn't know yet. So go to YouTube, um, and type in how to, um, how to work TikTok, how to do reels, use your resources first, um, instead of going to your upline because they may not know it either. But if you feel overwhelmed just know that there is something there for you guys to be able to um you know learn more about it and the training just like steps that it doesn't stop right here right now so that's all i want to share um thank you so much for having this. this was so so fun so thank yeah. you
And one, one thing guys too, is if you have somebody that enrolled you or an upline and they're not doing it, don't wait for them. You have the ability to go past them, like go for it. Like don't hold back. You have, have something on your heart destined in you that you are going to do amazing things. And so don't let anybody hold you back from where you're going. That is the one thing that I want to make sure that you guys know is you have everything that you need and I want you to go just full force with it and just blow your own mind on how amazing that you are and just be excited with it that you're learning and putting it out there like you're putting out TikToks. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would be doing this and making kind of fun of yourself. Like, okay, I need some people cheering me on. We guys go show me some love in my TikTok. Here's my TikTok. So put put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram to go follow you and share and, and do all of those things. So um I will share this last message. Will you I will copy this? Will you send this in the message? Real fast. I'm gonna put it up in the comments and then you can hit stop record. And let's see. Oops, I don't want that because you guys do want it. All right. And that's just a message that I make sure that I get out. I want to have touch points that I'm always constantly messaging. So this one will be just, that's just an Instagram one that I do. So just, you know, if that's something that you want to start adding to like your tracker, your KPI, whatever you're doing for the day, I just make sure that I try to get it out to as many people as I can. It's just been a habit for me for so long that I do that and it works. So I'm not going to stop doing that. Right. So do some things that continually work, but, um, there it is. Again, you guys can go and hit in the comments and the very bottom, the little three little dots, click on that, click on save. It'll save the whole chat so that you can go back through and use some of these scripts, make it kind of yours. Um, but you know, don't go too far off because they really work. So we love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing night. Um, and then again, thank you, Ashley and Kim for just sharing all your knowledge and being excited. Awesome. So I love you guys. Have a good week and at summer camp. Don't forget Thursday. All right, guys. Have a good night.